I just spent the morning paying bills and I'm done. Like, I'm done. I don't care anymore. And here's what needs to happen. One of you needs to move to Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada and marry me. That is not going to happen. You don't need to love me. Hell, you barely even need to hang out with me. We can be like most normal married couples and not have sex and barely talk. <laughs> but we can split the bills. And who knows? Who knows? I'm not cooking. I don't go in the kitchen. But I'm a pretty good cuddler, if that even comes up. No. Okay. No, 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 no. A part of me was super sad. And it was because I've been single for three years and... I've gone on probably 400 first dates. Ooh. Brother, ooh. And I have not been able to find a connection at all with anyone. I missed the part where that's my problem. As a single mom, our standards about fucking triple prior to. I already had high standards and then I, now you bring my daughter into the thing and like no one's good enough, right? On top of standards, time. As a single mom, we have little to no me time. So if I'm going to invest the small amount of me time I have into someone else and you fucking waste it, done. Go yourself. That's how I feel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. For my male audience, for the guys, are you eager to date that first woman, guys? How, how about her, yeah? Are you interested in a woman above 30 who says that she won't cook and you will live in a... <laughs> in a no-fun bedroom, let's say. Um, are you interested, right? Just for the money. Oh, we will not be poor. Let me tell you guys, better be poor than in bad company. For real, there's not amount of money on this world uh, that will make it worth it to date that woman. But now guys, let's get started with today's video. We have a woman here being absolutely shocked. Uh, saying that the caption is, am I doomed? Interesting caption. And this video is done by Modern Woman Archives. Okay, Ampu is just sitting there because he likes to inhabit that place. He's not trying to defame this guy. I really appreciate him. It's just I'm running out of time lately. And I'll be covering some of the content he has picked. So without further ado guys, let's get started. And let's see what this woman is, why this woman is doomed. I just got home from Pilates and the girl next to me was talking about how she broke up with her boyfriend three months ago and met this new guy like two weeks later and they're like madly in love and just loving life together. And I'm obviously so happy for her and I love that she was like so passionately telling the whole class about this story, but a part of me was super sad and it was because i've been single for three years and i've gone on probably 400 first dates and my friends can back that up and i have not been able to find a connection at all with anyone oh don't worry you just keep doing that you know J just keep at it i'm sure that 430 40 somewhere like that you know you're gonna find your man now, of course, I'm being absolutely sarcastic. This is why, guys, I tell you that, and a lot of men agree, that women above 30 are just massive red flags just by the mere fact that they're 30, all right? Because in most of the cases, this is what happens. They have gone on 400 dates. They have dismissed 400 dudes. No, they have dismissed 1,200 dudes, all right? It just speaks about unreal expectations, entitlement, narcissism, and a lot of mistakes done in the past, right? Uh, but don't get me wrong. This other woman that managed to find a husband or boyfriend, whatever, is also a massive red flag. Like two weeks after getting out of a relationship and you're already into another one. And I don't care if the previous relationship was really, really bad and this other guy was just extremely good and they're happy now. I don't care. Like you, I think that every person needs just a little bit of time after a relationship to process things, to, you know, maybe learn to be alone for a while. You know, try to think about everything that happened, all right? Like two weeks, uh, it, it just tells me that uh, this woman is really addicted to the attention and she cannot live with it, right? This is my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. Now, let's continue. And the common denominator in this is me. And when oh, you, you think hear so? about, you know, these other lovely women who break up with their boyfriends and immediately find a boyfriend again, you're just like, 
okay, it just reaffirms that it is you, but is it me? And now I'm like, am I the problem? Or do maybe I'm not in touch with my sexuality? And it makes me question a lot of things about how I'm dating and how I approach dating. So anyways, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm sure there are other women out there that have experienced this. I keep reminding myself that the universe does have a plan for me. And although I don't have a partner in crime at this point in my life, one day I will. That is not going to happen. Guys, I think the universe is at fault here. If you ask me, I think the universe is to blame for this. No, but I mean, life is trying its hardest to tell you that you are the problem. <laughs> All right. When you go on 400 and, and plus dates, and you're still single. I don't know. I, I think that's a a really big <laughs> hint towards the fact that maybe the problem is within you, right? And of course, guys, the problem is just high expectations. Now, this woman to begin with is not paying attention to any other man than the very top percentage, right? And even between those guys, she is still picky. It's they either don't commit to her because she's not worth it, or if there's someone deluded enough to think that she's a good option, she immediately loses respect for him because he becomes available, right? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Let's talk dating as a single mom. I get this question all the time. Tips, advice, your experience. Are you seeing anyone? How's that going? And I would love to be able to give advice and tips on how that's going, um, but it's not going. Because as a single mom, our standards about fucking triple prior to, I already had high standards, and then I, now you bring my daughter into the thing, and like, no one's good enough, right? On top of standards... You gotta love it, right, guys? Like, you know how in food stalls and restaurants and all that, uh, at the end of the day, they have this food that they're gonna throw in the garbage anyway, right? This is food that is already in the trash. And so they say, all right, it's stale, it's cold, uh... It, the, the flies have been around this food all day. Let's just put it at like 50% off so someone buys it and we don't throw it in the garbage anyway. This is what these women are, all right? Th this food item is what they are. They are stale. They are wasted. They are single mothers, divorced. They come with their traumas. They are less attractive, less appealing. Their personality sucks in most of the cases, all right? And instead of putting themselves at 50% off, so saying, all right, let me get with the 60-year-old balding uh, dude who's a loser. Instead, they, they triple their demand. Like, can you picture a food that is stale, been there all day, and they try to sell it to you at triple the price? Guys, this is just effing absurd what these women are saying over here. Standards, time. As a single mom, we have little to no me time. So if I'm going to invest the small amount of me time I have into someone else and you fucking waste it, done. And on top of them not being shit, they don't fucking know how to communicate. My two-year-old toddler has the capability to tell me what she does or does not want, does or does not like, and how she's feeling. But some way, grown-ass men are not able to use their big boy words to communicate. Weird. More of the story is I am not your girl. If you want advice, um, I can tell you what not to do. I can tell you the men not to go for, but that's basically all I've learned over the last couple years. Shut up, bitch! Wow, what a pleasant woman, guys. Oh, I can't wait to marry her. I can't wait to use my big words with her and, you know, just try to appeal to all her demands. It's just, I gotta be sarcastic, or otherwise I'm just gonna be insulting this woman for 15 minutes, alright? But I can't do that, so, uh... I think we're gonna end it here, boys. <laughs> Getting on my nerves already. I think we're gonna end it here so we can all save a little brain cells, alright? We've lost enough uh, with this video. Uh, but yeah, just another video that proves to everybody how you should not be wasting your time, spending your time on these women's absurd demands, their, their absurd expectations, guys. Uh, they are so uh, out of this earth. They are so out of touch. They don't realize what's happening. Like these women should be putting themselves at 80 to 90% off because they've wasted the time in which they were valuable. They should be doing that and then, then maybe some guy will consider that as a good option, right? But as it is, guys, I tell you again, there's not enough money in this world that will make it worth to date any of these women. But what are your thoughts, guys? Leave them down in the comments below and I'll be happy to see you next time. Have a good one.